I know my rights, and I will not be intimidated by you people. Now, who are you? Anyway, the FBI? I told you, we're postal inspectors. We're your worst nightmare. If your worst nightmare is a male inspector, I envy you. Welcome back everyone to Dunkin' Not. Today we are going to talk about The Inspectors, which is a combination of Law and & Order and a rejected Disney show you've never heard of. I had a crazy dream about Veronica last night. The Inspectors is government funded, funded by the United States Postal Service, because they're trying to make a fun crime drama educational. What's card cracking? These scammers use social media to target their victims. And it failed. Miserably. This is the introduction that plays at the beginning of every episode. I'm Preston Wainwright, and this is my mom, Amanda. She's a United States Postal Inspector, which means she solves any crime that uses the mail. My dad was an inspector too, one of the best, until I lost him and the use of my legs in a car accident. Now I'm following my own dream, an internship in the crime lab and the help of my best friends. Together, we are the Inspector. Yeah, they're trying to make male-related crimes as thrilling as possible. Like, at the beginning, when it shows the main title, there are flames, embers, and the loudest sound you ever heard. But the show doesn't work because they're trying to combine crime with teen soap opera. And some of these tension-filled teenage interactions are between the son and his mom. Yeah, it's kind of hard to watch. So if you've ever wondered who the hardworking men and women are that are protecting you from mail bombs and scams, you're about to be very disappointed. So let's look at a few episodes and find out why this show got four seasons. Yeah, Euphoria can't even do that. So let's start with the first episode of Inspector. Did I really just get mail right now? You know what? I bet it's a wig. So it wasn't a wig, it's actually something even better. The sponsor of today's video. This is Care Of. It is personalized vitamins that are delivered right to you. All I had to do was take a quick quiz on their website and I was given doctor back recommendations for which vitamins I should take. Then this super convenient box got delivered and it's filled with pre-portioned vitamins in this packet. Look, my name is on it. This has completely simplified my wellness routine because sometimes I wake up and forget to take my vitamins. But now the box just sits on my counter, I can grab the little packet and I can take it anywhere on the go. Look, here they are. I love the rhodiola because it really helps my energy and focus, especially when I'm trying to film and edit videos. I also love the prebiotic because it helps replenish my gut with healthy gut bacteria, which I've desperately needed since I've taken so many antibiotics. So this is really helpful. Speaking of which, Y'all, I'm finally consistent with my vitamins. I'm finally consistent. I'm gonna put a link in my description that you can use to get started. And don't forget to use code DUNKIN50. Thank you, Kara, for simplifying my wellness routine and sponsoring this video. Now, let's watch the inspectors. So this episode starts with Detective Amanda questioning a college student. The girl gave her debit card information to a stranger in hopes that he would give her money. It's called card cracking. It's one of the newer schemes around. My parents are out of college money. You know, this really is government funded because they would say, you need a tissue. Are you not telling me everything because someone is threatening you? Mm -hmm. If you change your mind, you can call me anytime. Oh, is someone threatening you? No. Okay, well, change your mind. Whoa, I can't do the footsteps. After tap dancing in the hallway, they decide to move forward with the case. Let's get started. <laughs> I'm surprised there wasn't like explosions and flames right there. Then we go back to Amanda's house where we meet her son, Preston. And Preston finds some interesting ways to cheer her up considering it's her first day back on the job since the accident. I'm just uh, waiting for my A game to show up. Mom, your A game never went anywhere. You made it through a one-year leave, you stayed in great shape, you're gonna be the same great team leader you always were. He's biased. Mom, you've stayed in great shape. <laughs> I guess we're finding out USPS inspectors need to be very fit to sort through envelopes now. Preston also interns at his mom's work, but he tells her that he has bigger plans. And I'm gonna be a postal inspector. For now, maybe you should just focus on being an intern. I'm not gonna give up on any of my goals. You don't have to, but honey, I'm just saying. Ooh. She is not her going, I don't think that you can be uh, in 
Why did her eyes look? Of course you can. But Amanda's got to go back to work. You looking for these? <laughs> Ew! You looking for these? <laughs> you know, the mail doesn't need to be investigated. They do. Where's that case? Anyways, the mom and her partner set up a fake social media page to bait the guy that's doing this illegal debit card envelope thing. Well, I just finished our undercover student account, but no bites yet. No messages, no friend requests. We should be getting a lot more traction. He said he just finished it. <laughs> I just finished the account, no bites yet. We should be getting a lot more traction. No, you wouldn't! He just finished- Since their social media account isn't getting traction, they go to the lab for evidence. Okay, here's our guy. Yep. And here's our problem. Yep. What is she magnifying? <laughs> what is she magnifying? And just when it's starting to get interesting, the show whiplashes you with education. That's card cracking. These scammers use social media to target their victims, get a hold of their debit card, and clean out their- she literally turns into a news reporter. These criminals are finding students with debit cards to wipe out their regals. So, what do I have to look forward to when it comes to dessert? Ew. So, what do I have to look forward to when it comes to dessert? So, so after Preston teases his mom with dessert, he alerts his friends at college of the possible scam that's happening. But he gets a little distracted. I had a crazy dream about Veronica last night. She's like our sister. I guess he has a thing for brunettes. Not only does he have dreams about family friends, but he also works at the crime lab. Let's see what happens there. Oh, I love being here, Georgia. Okay, but don't forget there is a thing called a social life. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Georgia. She just read him to filth. And this is really fun. This is really fun. Ew! Preston then gets a notification that he's invited to a pizza party for students at his college. But the timing is a little suspicious. Can I just say I'm sick of TV shows making the fakest social media thing you've ever seen? What is his bio? Got to play with a mass spectrometer in the lab today. Pretty cool. You're telling me the USPS inspection service uses this NASA machine? How did he play with that? Also his profile photo being his headshot for the show. Preston then realizes that three of the students that are invited are also victims of that scam, and he starts to put dots together without even moving his mouth. He had his bank account drained. So Preston and his friend plan to infiltrate this pizza party to- <laughs> Why is he ready like that? Anyways, Preston and his friend come up with a slick way to catch the scammer red-handed at the pizza party. And he does it really subtly. Hey, why don't you do me a favor? Can you bring a veggie delight here and then two pepperoni pizzas over there? Bam! Bam. Uh, I just got my fantastic plastic. Thought we'd break it in. Bam! Oh, you thought that wouldn't work? Guess who literally comes over? I got a check here for six grand. Wait, oh my gosh. It has to be the guy. Preston did it. He got him, so... All he has to do is text his friend to come and take a photo of him, even though he's texting on a phone. All right, show me some teeth, people. I'm gonna take someone's picture. You asked the permission. Have a good one. Why would he take his photo like that? Why would he announce it, yell it? Why did he yell? But don't think the bad guy actually got away. That's him. That's the guy. Are you sure? Uh so the whole montage of the son being the underdog just didn't even need to happen. Got it. Who are you? Anyway, the FBI? I told you, we're postal inspectors. We're your worst nightmare. We've got a 98% conviction rate. You're about to raise it to 99. <laughs> wow. So obviously that episode made zero sense. And I think it's because a lot of it had to do with a certain intern and not the mother, Amanda. So I wanna show you a couple episodes where she really stands out. This first episode is about a crime that could happen to anyone. Even this nurse at a hospital that is just like me. Yes, the coffee helps, second cup. <laughs> Fine, it's my third. Oh. <laughs> Fine, it's my third. Then she's given this suspicious envelope and this girl must be on autopilot because there's this USB drive inside and she just plugs it in. But oh, she's in for a surprise. For access. Oh, I gotta go. <laughs> the USB just turned her computer into a police car. Speaking of police, who shows up to a hospital when it's being held for ransom? Diane, we're gonna need you to walk us through what happened. Imagine your hospital getting hacked and then the USPS detectives show up. 
Oh, thank God you're here. With the U.S. Postal Inspection Service, we're here to help. Who? You know, the U.S. Postal Inspection Service. Everyone talks about us, and we're here to help. No, thank you. We can figure this out ourselves. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. No, it's okay. It's okay. So that definitely happened between Amanda and the manager of the hospital because she could not be less happy about them there. I'm just going to pay the ransom. Ms. Morrison, this is what we do. Give us a shot. All right. <clears throat> You've got one day. 24 hours doesn't sound like a lot of time. They solved it in minutes. The letter contained traces of avocado. Maybe we're looking for a taco truck. Could you run his license plate? Frank Dean Bat. <laughs> also, did y'all hear that? They found avocado on the envelope. Then went, oh, well, it must be from a taco truck. Cause guacamole, I guess. Then they just pick a taco truck and it happens to be the one. Okay. So then they go to this taco truck, confirm it's the guy and end up arresting him. Well, then let's talk about this right now. U.S. Postal Inspector's up against the taco truck. <laughs> U.S. Postal Inspector, get up against the taco truck. And Amanda got lucky because he perfectly positioned his laptop outside the taco truck door for Amanda to turn it off. <laughs> so yeah, they had that one in the bag. But in this next episode, Amanda had to put on a bulletproof vest and I was a little scared because something could happen to her. And this is the pinnacle of the USPS investigators. In this episode, an investment group reaches out to this woman and starts paying her investments. And she thinks it's legit. And it's been paying off at 20% a year. Wow, that's nice. Rare, but nice. But Amanda and her partner are not buying it. Three years straight. Look. She's just like, mm-hmm. And all this is happening while the sun is just like in the background, not even saying a single thing. Oh, you thought you were actually gonna make money. <gasps> so close. So Amanda does what any good postal inspector would do in this case. They prank call the investment group. Hi, thanks for getting in touch. Nora has been so happy with you. She actually mentioned the name of a stock. So they actually end up scamming the scammers. Sounds like someone I know. And if you want to get in, we've got to get on it today. What kind of a play did you have in mind? Why is he acting like that? 10,000? Smart, get in early, get in big. So, how do we do? What is he? <laughs> Smart, get in big. <laughs> Email me some paperwork, I send you a check. Check them out, that'd be a great idea. Sooner the better. <laughs> you got a pencil? I'll give you my address. The director told him to act like someone up to no good. I'll give you my address. Amanda gets the address of the investment group and her and her team decide to infiltrate. Everybody ready? Let's do this. <laughs> the guy without a bulletproof vest watching them in the back. Please put your work down and step away from your desks. You've got to be joking. The only joke is you, Mr. Winderson. Now please step against the wall and out of the way. Oh, eight! Wow. Oh. They raid buildings with bulletproof vests to protect them from... Yeah. Please do not watch the show. Don't support it. And don't get yourself caught in a mail scam unless you want Amanda on your case. What do I have to look forward to when it comes to dessert? 